as many Negro convicts as no, you Welcome back to Bioshock uh, Infinite. <laughs> We're doing the walkthrough. This is part three. You left us here last time. Uh, I just possessed this turret to kill these dudes. So we'll pick up here again. So they go down pretty easily. We were just listening to a... Um, what's it called? Uh, Foxophone. <laughs> Sorry, it's been one of those days. It seems to have been one of those days a lot recently. Still kind of recovering from my cold and a bit groggy and I had a couple of meetings this morning. So I'm jacked up on coffee. Uh, but I don't think my brain's quite caught up. Anyway, I uh, dealt with them relatively easily and then running around looking for delicious loots. Uh, there's a couple of guys down there who end up sniping me. Now, I'm the, the mist on this is a bit funny. I'm not entirely sure I approve of it. People around this corner, oh, hello! And I've had a bit of a play round, and when you look down the sights on these guns, it actually snaps to target pretty effectively, even on hard, which is nice. So I approved that. You'll see there it kind of snapped on him, but I've started to take advantage of that a lot more. It'll largely snap directly to their heads, uh, which is good. There's one guy left over there, but I think I got him, and there's a couple more down here, and then I'm just, as you've probably come to expect by now, running around looting everything I can lay my little hands on. And there's a guy there, you see it snapped to him a little bit, uh, but I lucked out with a headshot on him. And I really need to get a handle on looking at my surroundings before charging towards a body to loot. That's, it's totally counterintuitive. When you die, as you'll see, as I do in a second, there we go. Uh, it says you lose uh, money. When your life is saved, you'll be partially healed, but so will your allies, you will also lose, or so will your enemies, sorry. Uh, you will also lose some money. What just happened? Um, so all that hard work running around looting things aggressively was for naught because I've just lost a huge chunk of cash. Anyway, not to worry. Pushing on through here, there's a turret there that I need to take down. That's what shot me last time. Uh, so now there's a bit of a war of attrition where I peep around the corner and shoot, 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 peep, peep, peep. Here we go. Got it there. Kabloom! And my health, once again, is not in great shape. But it had some pistol ammo, so, you know, that was good. Anyway, there's two more guys down here. And uh, you'll see in a second. There we go. I think I've got one of them, but the other one pretty much shoots me in the face a lot. There we go. <laughs> so, straight back here. There we go, now he's dead. And running around looking for a bit of health. Uh, there's some salts. And then we're off to see the fireman. It's getting hot. What's going on? Now the mistake I made there was possessing him and not shooting him. Although it seems like when someone's when an enemy's possessed, it doesn't actually do as much damage as you'd hope. In fact, very little. Uh, so this guy, he's got like an AOE attack. He's obviously got uh, a lob attack. He's armed with Devil's Kiss, as we'll see in a minute. Enemies drop their vigor when you kill them, which is good. So I guess we're going to be acquiring a lot of vigors from bosses. There we go. Take the vigor from the fireman. There it is. Shits. No, you only live once. Now, one of the things I always liked about Crisis. Uh, one of the things I always liked about Crisis was... There wasn't no sample. That was no sample. You're right, Booker. Booker DeWitt. Uh, is, uh, what was I trying to say? One of the things I like about Crisis is that you can always see yourself. Sorry, I'm listening to an audio graph there. You're not missing anything. Voxer, phone, whatever it is. I'm playing around with Devil's Kiss. Um, one of the things I always like about Crisis, we'll get there eventually, is that you can see yourself. 
uh, pretty effectively. So, like, if you look down, you can see your feet. Um, and I don't like games where you can't. I don't know why. It just it seems to disconnect me somehow. I like to see my feet. Don't ask me why. I just do. Anyway, you'll see here this turret now is unpossessed. And you can hold the bumper to bring up uh, a choice of uh, vigors there. I've only got two at the moment, so I've got them both on quick switch down on the bottom left. I can just tap the bumper. Um, oh no, that wasn't the one. Uh, I just shot that one. But now looking around for newts, and then nothing, nothing to see there. Then up here is the Blue Ribbon Restaurant. Now in here, if you've pre-ordered the game, in here you will find, or you've got the pre-order bonuses, or I guess maybe bought them as DLC down the line, um, you will find all your items in here. There's going to be five infusions and uh, a bunch of gear, but we'll see. So let's leave the area. And then in here, there are three kinetoscopes, which I've just skipped. Uh, it's not so interesting. And then here is the gear. So gear is stuff you wear. You've got four slots. They sort of act like tonics in the original Bioshock. They're basically passive abilities. So that one, there's a 70% chance to uh, stun the enemy for four seconds when you smack him in the face. Uh, no, that one. Yeah, that's... Anyway. Here are the infusions. And what these do is boost your health, uh, your shield, or your mana. So I figured um, I'd go with mana the first time. I keep calling it mana, it's vigor or salts or whatever. And then I go for shield to create a shield, not realizing that this chick up here has actually got a shield to offer me. And then I grab the gear. This one's what? Electric punch. So that stuns people. This one, eagle strike, does 50% extra damage from skylines. Uh, ammo advantage. Clips are 75% bigger. They probably mean magazines, don't they? All the people who keep correcting me on that. <laughs> And then Ghost Soldier, which, if you kill someone with a trap, there's a 70% chance that their weapon will become possessed and shoot for you. And I used that without really realizing what it was, um, and saw this floating gun, and I was like, that's glitchy, and then realized what it did. Anyway, she gives you the shield, so now my shield's been boosted again. So I realised on watching this playthrough back that I think those are the guys who told us to flip heads or tails earlier. Uh, which is interesting, there's a voxophone. Uh, some dude's been asked to write Father Comstock's diaries, memoirs, I guess. Probably not his diaries. Anyway, not much to see in here, maybe I should have sped this up a little bit, but... Uh, coming out into the main room, come on Booker, there we go. <gasps> Look, it's all bright and beautiful! And I like the way the buildings kind of... Um, bounce up and down? Do I mean bounce? You know what I mean. But over here there is a skyhook, which we will see in a second. And there you can do a pretty awesome skyhook attack, and that's combined with the electricity. <laughs> and then he's got a machine gun, and I really wanted his binoculars, but it wouldn't let me have them, which was sort of annoying. But now there is a big old fight coming, in which I do not do so well. And you can't kill the birds, unfortunately. That would have been a nice touch. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, and there is a... Um, I went off after this and played the Industrial Revolution game, which again was a pre-order thing. It's available uh, online at thinkindustries.com, I think. And it's kind of fun. It's like making, um, connecting all these cogs uh, to, I don't know, do stuff. <laughs> That's so poorly described. You connect cogs to do stuff. Um, anyway, it's the long and the short of it is, um, it gave me three more pieces of gear, one of which gave me 50% extra damage for headshots. 
Uh, there's a turret up there, which is the bane of my life, and I missed it with possession there, so I try again in a second, I think. And I'm speeding the bits up where I'm just poking around in crates. But again, I think I kind of just need to man up. And... Yeah, there we go. Man up and face these guys head on. But this, um, the fog is a bit annoying. I think I started saying this earlier. The fog is a bit annoying because you can't see stuff through it. I was trying to work out how to get up there to loot that thing, but... Um, yeah, there's a guy. Oh, I should have chucked some fire at him there because he's standing on oil. Funny, I didn't realise. It's actually amazing. Oh, there we go. I did chuck some fire. Did I? I don't know if that was me. Yeah, I guess it was. Um, it's amazing what you see when you play a level back. And what you missed. So my next playthrough, I guess, I'll probably do a bit better. And in fact, I, well, I have because I'm running, a, I'm replaying chapters at the moment to get all the collectibles, um, which I'm going to need to. I think I'm going to need to do a third playthrough actually because just opening the levels and getting all the collectibles and not saving, not pushing through means that you don't actually have them. Because um, it just picks up from your previous autosave. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I think there's just that turret left. Maybe one more person. But I can get around to it over here. There we go, I need to become a slightly better aim with possession. But you'll see here again, I'm shooting this thing at point blank and it's not doing a lot of damage. So I think if something's an ally, it takes hugely reduced damage. Because you'll see, as soon as it stops being possessed, it dies pretty quickly, although I fell off the side there, which wasn't so smart. But I think falling off doesn't qualify as a kill, which is good news. There's also a mission coming up where you need to come back to this bit to use a key, but if you need help with that, check out the collectibles videos. There's a playlist for those, and I'll link them in the description. Not much else to do here, Booker. Move along. Move along. Move along. And that's a mighty jump right there. And then here we are. There's a printing press going to be in here. But first of all, obviously, I need to go and check out these tables and pick up everything there is to pick up. A little pantry full of deliciousness. It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. The one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police, we're near your assistance. They're here. Shh. Keep your voice down. This is a bunch of police outside, but that doesn't stop me trying to pick the place clean. Anyway, heading out here, what I really should have done is possess one of those guys from a distance, but I failed so to do. And instead got in a massive firefight, which backfired somewhat horrifically. I eventually possess him, but I think I end up possessing all the guys with the truncheons, which isn't the smartest move I could have made. And I'm curious about these women who seem to have the glowy eyes. Maybe they're an elite shock troop of some kind. So you can see it's not going brilliantly. There's a fireman there, I think there's one more soldier, and also a turret. And so what do I do? I run into the fireman. Well, I run away. I just I wasn't aggressive enough. And then I come back, and the first thing I do is chase corpses. <laughs> I'm so bad. It's just... Oh. And there's another fireman. Oh, well, not another one. It's the same one. Uh, and I kind of plug him full of holes for a bit, and then run into his fire, because I'm a genius. And I'm still getting shot at by the turret, but then I figure the fireman and the turret can have a bit of a fight. But possession doesn't last long on those dudes. There we go, and then he explodes and sets fire to that oil again and takes me down. So anyway, back through here. And there's just a turret left. It's 
So then I smash this turret up. But you'll see here again it's got the health bar there and it's really not taking any damage. So you definitely need to wait for the possession to wear off and then they die pretty quickly. Fireball or two will finish them up nicely. Anyway, drop down here and we'll leave it there for the time being. That's about 15 minutes. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Part two, if you missed it, is there on the left. And part four on the right. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.